<clears throat> Hello. Well, uh, finally, for the first time in a long time, uh, I'm talking about something not Star Wars related. Something I've been meaning to do, and I even said some time ago, I'm going to do other things, but then kept talking about Star Wars and things of that nature, but finally I'm taking a break from that. I'm even wearing a different kind of shirt. I still have the same hat. I think it's kind of become a staple at this point with this series, so some things should just, I guess, stay the same, honestly. Um, so, there's a, I'm talking about Friday the 13th, as well as other things, like uh, Halloween, um, last Friday, the new Halloween trailer came out, and it looks pretty good. I know some people are disappointed in that it's, or in that the film will, is now the sequel to the original, <clears throat> and everything from the original second film onward, <clears throat> you know, we don't count the Rob Zombie films because those, so those are remakes essentially, you know, but everything that came after the original Halloween no longer counts. It's not part of the actual series or lore, according to John Carpenter. He apparently never wanted a sequel ever to happen. He only made the sequel, or wrote the sequel, and produced it because he knew they were going to do it no matter what. So he, I guess, he would rather have some sort of input in it. But uh, I guess he never really liked that film. He made, then he did, uh, he wrote and produced Halloween 3 also, which was completely different. Uh, how, uh, that film has nothing to do with Halloween, or the, at least the previous two. It was going towards an anthology <clears throat> type thing, but people didn't like that, so they went back to Michael Myers being the killer. And I gotta say, the trailer actually looks pretty good. Um, ignoring everything, including H2O, um, and all that, like the big reunion. It's something to see. It's quite something. Um, I will, uh, I know there are some people who love that movie and some of the other films that came out after the original Halloween, but perhaps if uh, this film is successful and is very well liked, maybe people won't mind. Or maybe they still will, but they'll also enjoy it, so. I don't know. Um, one thing that always kind of bugged me is that this, since this is the supposed to be the actual proper sequel, we're ignoring everything after the original. Shouldn't this be Halloween 2 or Halloween and then have another, like a, like a title underneath it? Like a Halloween, the final chapter, I don't know. I, I guess that's kind of been done a lot. Like, it's the final chapter. Yeah, well, just wait a few years or so, and then they'll announce a new movie. Because, <clears throat> you know, that never happened before. This says 12 films of terror. Funny how the fourth film is called the final chapter, and yet... Eight more movies came after that, but, uh, anyway, whatever, um, but yeah, Halloween seems to be going fairly strong. It's got the original creator, uh, being an executive producer, got Jamie Lee Curtis back, and it looks like things are in Halloween's favor. Um, last year, the first part, it looked like things were going well for Friday the 13th, but, you know plug that the the plug was pulled uh, on that even though they were essentially weeks away from 
casting essentially getting nailed down, and they were going to film not long after casting was done. So it's like a few weeks, a month left uh, to go until filming commenced. And then they said Brings is the reason this film will not be happening anymore. It's not going to happen because that movie failed. Put that right there. Which I always thought was ridiculous. It was like, really? Rings? Rings is the reason? It's two different horror franchises. Two different kind of fan bases. I mean, sure, Friday the 13th fans might enjoy Ring, the Ring movies, but... I mean, and vice versa, but I mean... If we're talking about core fan bases, the fan base of Friday the 13th, I'm sure, is fairly different than the fan base of Ring, of the Ring series. But things just didn't seem to... just didn't seem right. And uh, there was a lawsuit that was later revealed of Victor Miller and um, against Horror Inc. and Sean Cunningham. And there's so many legalities, there's so much stuff going into this, I won't really touch upon it a whole lot because I don't entirely know. I'm not going to get angry at Victor Miller because I don't know the full story as to why he's doing it. The easy way is like, oh, only money, that's it. No reason other, he just wants money. But perhaps there was some sort of agreement where he was supposed to be compensated at some point. Or a deal was made after the fact, and he did get, he was going to get money later on from the f film, or perhaps maybe franchise, I don't know. Because what he's doing is essentially trying to enact a certain, like there's like a clause or something that in the copyright realm. The original author can take ownership of the of a certain property. In this case, Friday the Thirteenth, and Jason Voorhees is the character. We don't <clears throat> entirely know what's all going on. This is recent. This was very recent. I've seen some videos talking about this, and some say maybe this has actually been going on for quite some time, and this is an appeal. Like they kept it hush hush because. Movies were being made, and or other things were happening, and maybe they just, uh, for the time being, didn't think that was going to, or for whatever reason, just wasn't going to affect the franchise. I don't know how, how that would work. Or maybe uh, Victor Miller tried to put this forward many times, and it kept getting thrown out of court. Until now, until last year, or at least when um, it was all released last year. But that probably has a big effect on it. And the video game, the, the people at Gun Media say that there's no longer going to be any new updates after the last one. And I just have been recently replaying the game. There's a new, uh, now single player mode which I enjoy a lot more, because I've already kind of talked about how I don't like the multiplayer a whole lot on video games just in general. Uh, I think a lot of uh, companies don't uh, really take uh, how popular single player really is. Like A lot of people love the story mode. People love playing a s specific story. I mean, I, granted, yeah, you know, Friday the Thirteenth. It could be considered. Oh, that's just you know simple. It's, you know, it's Jason Voorhees going around Camp Crystal Lake and just killing people. Okay, uh, but what they could have done was kind of sort of do like the movies, be made of the movies and each level or. As different stages, and uh, like you're the killer or somebody, and you try to survive, or 
if you're Jason, you go and kill people. I don't know. Uh, that could have been an interesting story line. I uh, might not be. Maybe it wouldn't be the best. Uh, maybe there's other ideas people could kick around that would be that seem better. Uh, I'm not gonna say uh, there aren't, but yeah. It's it's just something that uh, I think like a single player mode for the video game. Uh, just the industry nowadays just takes doesn't really seem to acknowledge and take advantage of. Because I've seen some people get tired of like Grand Theft Auto Online because of I mean, there are a lot of assholes on that uh, who play that game. Same with Friday the 13th, the game. There's people who team up, like one player and Jason. They're good friends, and they've known each other for a while. So, well, Jason won't kill them, but he'll kill everyone else, and you can also help uh, get or help assist Jason in killing people or whatever. And then you can get away. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, I've seen that happen. I've had that happen to me a few times uh, early on when I began playing it last year. And I kind of stopped, and then I came back to it with the single player, because that's really what I wanted to do. I wanted to be Jason. I didn't want to be some counselor running around trying to do that. I mean, that's fun for for some people, but I just, like, I, I don't know. I wanted to be Jason, you know? I mean, that's just me. You know, whatever. That is a bummer. That because uh, I've been enjoying the single player mode, and um, I would like to see some more maps and new skins of Jason. It'd be pretty cool to if you could get all of the incarnations of Jason um, in the films. But due to the lawsuit, Gun Media is just gonna stop on that. Understandably, uh, a little disappointing, but then again, I'm more into films. I like movies more. And it's almost been a decade since the new Friday the 13th film has come out. I mean, it's nine years since the last Halloween movie, so hey, there you go. Nightmare on Elm Street's been pretty dormant. Haven't heard much from that franchise. People didn't really enjoy that remake. I wasn't hugely fond of it. I thought some, I thought the acting was pretty decent. Uh, Jake Earl, Earl Haley was great as Freddy Krueger, I thought. Um, I thought Rooney Mara was good. Um, you know, I just thought the acting in that movie was good, but the, the way they went about remaking it just wasn't... You know, it just didn't hit, really seem to hit the mark. Um... Uh, I think also, uh, I did see uh, Jigsaw. I thought that was a fairly decent movie. I thought that was a decent film. Uh, even though, like, years ago, like, uh, like seven years prior or so, it was the last Saw film. Uh, now we've got Jigsaw, so. Hey. That's fine. Um, but, yeah, uh, I don't know. kind of wanted to talk about the lawsuit a little bit and how it's like preventing new stuff happening with the franchise, halting the film. I believe that's truly what stopped the movie. The new movie that was being made, the 13th film. That would be a special movie, wouldn't you think? Friday the 13th. Uh, the new movie, of like part 13, that would probably wouldn't be titled that, but I mean, you know what I mean. It's like the 13th film in the franchise, and where is it? It's taken almost 10 years for anything to happen. We'd had no idea who was going to be Jason Voorhees. Um, I know Derek Mears had a contract to do two films, but whether he 
would have gotten cast or not. I don't know. I didn't think it was a bad Jason for the reboot. I enjoyed the reboot. I thought that was good. Um, this set here is no longer available um, for Blu-ray, um, unfortunately. Um, though there's always been one complaint with this film, and that's uh, Part 9 has no does not have the uncut version. Personally, that's like the best way to even see Part 9. I'm not that huge of a f fan of that movie. Um, I mean, I'll watch it, you know, uh, marathons of all the films, but, you know, it's one of those things, like, where some movies, like, if it's, there's an uncut version, unrated version, director's cut, or whatever you want to call it. That's a film that, yes, that's the best way to view it, but it's not on here. The thing I have the DVDs, and I have that DVD, so I can always <clears throat> rewatch the unrated version of that. Uh, only thing I wish it was in high definition, but what can you do? I guess not much, except try and tell them we want it. We want this. We want that. We want this movie this way and I guess we'll just have to wait to see if it happens but anyway um, yeah honestly uh, just talking about some horror franchises um, I don't think Scream will ever do anything more uh, I never really watched that the Scream series on t the TV series but then I didn't really hear a lot from it. Um, but regarding the films, I don't believe they'll ever make any more. Uh, Kevin Williamson did say he wanted to do uh, five and six after four, but with the passing of Wes Craven, it seems all plans for that officially stopped. And also, it seemed like they were just going to do more Just do the show. That was like the way they were going to go with it. Um, I know there was some talk of a Friday the 13th series. Um, personally, I'm not sure about that. I've never been... I, I always see Friday the 13th as like an event. Even though I only saw the 2009 film, the reboot, in the theater. Because I was too young to see Jason X and... Uh, Freddy versus Jason, but still, I mean, it's 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 sad. Um, you know, it's sad that we don't have a new film coming out, and um, and again, yeah, to that event thing, it's one of those things. It's an event I've always felt, even when you hear the documentaries. Uh, everyone talking. It sounded like such an event every time one of these films came out. And you hear Franz talking. It's the same thing. Uh, I wish to experience that again. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I like to continue with it uh, every so often. You know, given enough time to have good stuff. Because you don't want to just have them be cranked out and only have... Like, they make they make, like say like uh, six, seven movies, but two or three of those that came out year after year are good or passable, you would say. If they did come out every year, they should have like a <clears throat> a fluidity, like, okay, we stopped one, we edited it together, it's all done, and now we're on to the next thing. We've also wrote all of them ahead of time, so we can now get going and shooting and all that. Things like that have a plan, but Paramount, I guess, either didn't know what to do with the series, or it was the lawsuit, or it was a combination of both, and uh, we didn't get one last year. I'd like to see one in the near future, but I don't know. I don't know what will happen. 
I don't, you don't, we don't know. Seems at this moment in time it's all in the hands of a judge. Looking at everything and then don't know if they've had their days in court yet or not. They might still be waiting for that. Um, hopefully we'll get more news and updates on this lawsuit. Uh, stuff will come about. Hopefully Friday the 13th will rise again. Rise from the dead. Jason can't be dead forever. Uh, Michael Myers clearly hasn't been. Or in the new, you know, film, he hasn't even been dead. He's been he was shot and taken into custody. Child's Play's gone on for a while, so... <clears throat> That's something. Uh, never been hugely fond of Chucky. The first film was alright, but after that, it's like... That's how I fell off, at least. Um, now there's going to be like a new Hellraiser, like a remake. With the original writer-director and actor as Pinhead coming back, so... That'll be good. I believe it's a remake. Everything I've read it indicates it's a remake, and some stuff that the director said says it seems to point that way. But uh, just have to wait to and see. Um, all this stuff with uh, Friday the Thirteenth was like all talk and no action, or action was finally about to happen and take place, and then got snipped and. Plug pulled. Um, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street's just been. I think Scream's kind of going away a little bit. Saw came back also last year. It's just, it's interesting in the horror world, horror franchise. Um, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I'll leave some links. I'll have, there's an article on Friday the 13th. Franchise that has a little glimpse about the or touches upon the legal battle with Horror Inc., which halts content for the game. Um, also, try to find some good videos that talk about that discussion, too. Um, a lot better than me. You know. There's like a one short video in particular that I'll probably I sh should include. It was good. It's in, it'll be in the description. Um, but yeah. So, um, that's really it. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know if it'll be horror next or what. I did say how I would like to talk about this movie. Um, I enjoyed Phantom Thread, but I've been itching to rewatch it. Um, then after that, I'm not sure what I'll talk about. But, you know, I'll, I'll try and uh, do more things. Don't worry. Won't be as Star Wars heavy. I am going to try and at least do like a whole month without any Star Wars related videos. So many people do talk about Star Wars all the time. I'm like, I'm like, I'm... I can't. I don't want to. Uh, some of the decisions that have been made with the franchise since Disney bought it has... Uh, I haven't been fond of. And it's like, it's probably best not to even... Uh, uh, talk about it. I was going to say acknowledge it, but I guess it's sort of the same thing. For a, I'm not going to acknowledge it for a while. So, Solo, there you go. I was all right, um, but yeah. Hope Friday the Thirteenth go gets back on track. Not sure what's up with Nightmare on Elm Street, and the new Halloween film looks pretty good. It should be called Halloween Two, because it's the sequel to the original Halloween to that came out forty years ago, or at least put a subtitle underneath it. Make it different, not just like 
make it sound like a remake again. But that's it. That's all I really have to say. I had a, quite a lot to say, apparently. And, um, yeah. See you all next time. Hope you all have a good weekend. And goodbye.